The kids have a huge desire to get good, to love the game, their passion's there, they're willing to put the extra hours in. Tell us something from the beginning. Let's go. It doesn't matter how we played last game, man, how we played this game. You miss, get back on me. I'll go to the I'm going to show you how great I am. The St. Brother Andre Senior Boys basketball team is one of the most talented and dedicated organizations in the school. Their coaching staff is knowledgeable and passionate. The players are charismatic and athletic. And the St. Brother Andre fans are... How do you feel about VA? I feel awesome! Devoted. The team has been putting in work since the summer to guarantee a successful season and continues to practice every single day. No one can deny that these guys are hungry. They have the work ethic, the chemistry, and the talent to achieve every single one of their goals. Find out why the St. Brother Andre Senior Boys basketball team is destined for greatness. Let's go. I think um, the big thing about this year is that it's our last year playing together, so it's our last chance to win our the York Region Finals and everyone's coming together. We've bonded more, come closer as a team, as a family, and we're all just determined to get that one goal of the championship. Every man is more serious this year, knowing it's our last year playing together, so we just want to go out there and win. For sure, our six our fifth years without Blake and Ose, they're a big help coming back. But um, aside from them, the 95s, the grade 12s, we're pretty strong core. We have me, we have Ben, Abraham, Josh, Rob, Krishan, and we've been together for a while, so our chemistry is very good together. And yeah. well, Ryan Chan's in grade 11. We only, I think, we only have about five or six guys returning for next year. Ryan works hard. He. Uh, He's a good listener, a good learner. He never gives you a problem. He's extremely coachable. He's going to be a good player. He'll be good for the team next year. You know, Sean, Carlo, Noel, you know, all those guys, they've stuck around in the way in the beginning. I think a lot of us who have been on the team before, we know what it's like and how much work that you have to put in and you know, the team might not be ready, but, you know, they stuck with it. They're doing well. I would have expected them to quit by now. It's their first year and they've stuck with us so they know their roles and when we need them they play hard. I think Chaz is a good addition to the team. We had a late addition in Chaz, you know, he transferred over and Chaz is a good player and he can do a lot of things on the court and just adds to the versatility of our team and adds to the things that we can do and it just makes us that much better. Okay, Quinton and Arizona are both grade 10s and it's very rare for grade 10s to be playing senior ball. Uh, I actually tried to talk them both into going to junior, but they seem to like what we're doing at senior and I think they like playing with the better players in the greater competition, so they decided to stay. Practice every day. Practicing every day. After school, coming to the gym, ball handling, and run plays. One-on-one -on -one drills. Though one-on-two drills, you know, those really take a lot out of you, but... If you're dead or you're in the hospital, I understand if you miss practice. Sick doesn't cut it. And if we don't listen to them, we do lines. That's how practice goes. All right, before a game, uh, I think sometimes it's usually maybe a focus on what we're not doing well or what we have to do well against a certain team, but maybe... Uh, 
Maybe it's nothing specific, it's just reminding them what we've got to do in certain situations or maybe certain specifics, maybe they're not cut across in a certain way on a certain offense or maybe there's no help on rotation on the defense or we're forgetting to, once a ball's entered, that we got to move on the pass as opposed to when the ball gets there. So just little reminders and then uh, other than that, let's go out and play and then see what happens in the game and adjust from there. Coach Rick, you know, he's a, he's a good guy and he's a good coach. He likes to get us into a lot of tournaments, gets us exposure. And, um, you know, he's a, he's a great coach. He's always out there teaching on the court. You know, if you do something wrong, you know, he'll get on on you for that. But at the same time, you know, I think I think that's a good thing because you need to be on your heels all the time when you're playing a game. You know, you, you, you can't have moments where you forget something or you, you have a lapse. Because if you have those, then it gives opportunity for bad things to happen. Rick's a good coach, I think. Um... He's pushing us, he's giving us opportunities, he's giving us exposure, putting us in a lot of tournaments, and yeah, he's been back one of the team. They're going to come to the ball to the middle, right? Like I told you before the game. So get ready, you deny it, when it goes in, the intercept guy sprints to that middle intercept point, someone's coming there. Three guys here trapped the ball. Coach Charles is great. He's just, uh, you know, he's he's with us players a lot, and he's just always there whenever we need anything. He really cares about us. He's here on his own time, and he's just doing it for us. He wants to get us the looks that we could get and make us better players. He won't yell at you or anything, but he'll point out what you did and uh, tell you what you need to do so you can become better. And I think a lot of us appreciate that. He's uh, not wild and crazy, out of control at times. He's nice and calm and, and uh, he keeps things in perspective. And uh, again, he's just a lot more mild mannered than I am because I tend to go a little nuts. As opposed to Coach Rick, he's more one on one with each individual player because he knows us from summer and stuff like that. And you know, he's more like kind of like a friend as opposed to a coach, but he is still a coach and we have him, we give him that respect. This is the start of. You know our season in terms of York Reeds and stuff, so we've got to come ready to play every night because these guys are looking to knock teams off, right? And we're not ready. This team wasn't going to beat it tonight, but it just gives other teams who. We stand on guard for Uh, the bio was cool, man. It was so. So. So energetic, you know, the crowd was pumping and it got us pumped up. But we knew that even though the crowd was excited and there was a lot of energy running through the place, that we you know we still had to stay calm and we still had a game to play, right? We still had a job and we went out there and I think we did it well. It's ours. No playing around. Every loose ball, ours. Every out of bounds play, we're diving for it. Every rebound, we're getting it. Every steal, we're taking it. Every shot, we're making it. This is it, right here. Let's go. Well, we gave the fans a show. Moment of silence for the champions For those who make going hard a lifestyle Never wait for nothing, gotta get it right now Are you going to win this year? Yes, we're going to win this year, no doubt We came in the year and we're just hungry I'm not trying to be cocky, but It's our year When everything clicks, then you better watch out Are we going to win? It's a fat baby funky <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>